my work as a gallerist, I guess, would include everyone in general. I mean, I try to have a dialogue with the world. So basically, I am in Boston, but I don't think in order to contribute to culture, you really need to be anywhere. You can be anywhere these days with the ease of information flowing. So I try to include and exclude everyone at the same time. Boundary crushing. Hmm. Well, as a Dominican American, boundary crushing is part of my existence. Uh, basically, I'm in Boston, you know, which is to a certain degree a very conservative town. I would say mostly Caucasian. So just by being, I am boundary crushing, but also just by being a very young person of color in a predominantly Caucasian world slash art world slash Boston, I think that into itself is boundary crushing. Example, I think the next exhibition I have on view called The Origin of the Force, The Force of the Origin, will deal with the, hmm, the seat of creativity as being female, mostly. So that will include very graphic material, but it's a subject matter that is basically very undervalued. I think diversity, to a certain degree, is very, very relative. I mean, right now in this room, I would say we're pretty diverse, you know, but then in my head, I mean, of course not. And I guess it just depends where I am for me to consider it diverse or not. Um, to a certain degree, I think also the world is pretty diverse, but we're all throwing ourselves, giving ourselves these walls, be them physically or conceptually. Artists have many responsibilities. That's part of the reason why I chose to work with art was because to a certain, it basically encompasses everything. There are so many right now conversations going on within an artistic context. I don't think any specific job is relegated to an artist, but that definitely can be one of them. That's a huge question. Geographically, break boundaries, they can move. Um, physically, you know, they can also kind of send their artwork out many, many different ways, send their images, bombard the images they have of their works to many different places. Politically, they can be definitely much more active, but they can also work politically with their politically minded with their artwork. Racially, I think that would be that would fall under the rubric of politics. So that's actually a subject matter that can be dealt with the political matter that they deal with in their artwork. Um, well, I lived in the Dominican Republic for about seven years growing up, and then I came back to the Bronx. I lived for two years in the Bronx, and I came from a high educational aspect, meaning the educational uh, system in the Dominican Republic was super high, and then I came to the Bronx and it was super low. So I came from a very elite education system to a very low, bad education system. So my first day at school, I had to basically get frisked, like I was at an airport, and that was pretty weird. But anyway, in the Dominican Republic, I was always exposed to culture. And then in the Bronx, I was barely exposed. I was in an art appreciation class with a Professor Recchioni, and he took us to the Whitney Museum of American Art, to specifically the John michel Basquiat show in 1992, I think it was, or 93 or something. No, 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 95. I was in high school till 94. So it must have been 93. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I was with all these, you know, relatively hard, quote, unquote, people, you know, in the Bronx, you know, Bronx, New York. People were getting stabbed left and right. There were single mothers in my class. There were pregnant mothers in my class. There were people that had a job to go to immediately after school. There were people that had just gotten off their job. So it was a pretty, you know, rough and tumble uh, situation. And so for them to all react very similarly, but then also very curiously, cur curiously minded, but then also just to be activated by the work. Mind you, Basquiat, Puerto Rican, Haitian, in this bastion of 
American art, right? The Whitney Museum had been invaded by a Puerto Rican Haitian. So everybody felt they could do that. You know, everybody felt very ingratiated by that situation. And that's precisely the moment when I decided that I really wanted to help make that sort of experience happen.